All right, I think it's time for a Star Wars quiz. Is it? I feel like people haven't been brushing up on their knowledge. We're not just doing any Star Wars quiz, not oh. just some BuzzFeed AI-generated crap where it's like, Princess Leia is her brother or whatever. No. Mm. What I've got here, this is from shrinktank.com. That's Luke Skywalker, by the way. Yeah, it is. I knew it's the true. answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> the hardest Star Wars quiz you'll ever take in your life. Wow, okay. And I think one of the hardest parts of this is... <laughs> That it's 38 questions. Oh, that's so, and that's an odd, real odd number. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's 40. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's better but worse? All right, great. <laughs> yeah, cool. James, what happened there is you said 38 questions and I just mentally adjusted to absolutely run out of steam at 38. So <laughs> okay. you're doing the last two on your own. No problem. Also, by the way, this is one of the good quizzes where we both have to come up with answers. This is the one where you just ask me questions and no, you no, lie no. about it. I have not done this quiz before. It is multiple choice. Oh. Play along, see if you can beat our score. But you have to leave a like on this video. Mm, if you beat it or if you don't beat it. That's right. But do it at the start. Yeah. yeah. Question number one. Who said there are always bigger fish and remember your focus determines your reality? Was it Obi-Wan, Jango Fett, Qui-Gon Jinn or Yoda? Well, you didn't even have to give me the options there because I know it's Qui-Gon Jinn. That's but right. I didn't remember the last, the second bit. The second bit seems like more like trying to sell me a timeshare. What did it say? How much money you got on you. <laughs> That's right. I'm not buying Qui-Gon. <laughs> also, you're dead. Yeah, he died. You got lightsaber in that era when you when you got lightsaber, you actually died. So <laughs> Well, Darth Maul didn't, but anyway, it's neither here nor there, Mason. <laughs> Question number two. In what year did the Walt Disney Company acquire Lucasfilm and the I entirety of the years. Star Wars franchise? I don't know. Years. Just relax. Okay. 2010, 2012, 2014, 2016. I know. I think it's one of the first two. Yeah. Marvel only made a couple of movies before they were bought by Disney. Yeah. So, and it's sort of around that era, I think, mm -hmm. when they were on that spree. Yeah. James, I think you should feel this 2012. one. 2012. Okay, great. Yeah, man. It's, it's been over 10 years. Feels good, doesn't it? No. Feels good. No. Number three. Everything feels bad, James. Yeah, but it's not this quiz's fault. <laughs> we're trapped down the content mines and everything's bad. Yeah, I love it. The canary died years ago. <laughs> Where were the scenes set on the forest moon of Endor? In filmed, the forest. Filmed in real life. In a forest. North Carolina, California, Spain, Italy. Ooh. Ooh, I want it to be Spain or Italy. Me too, mm. but it's not. Delicious. Uh, big Redwoods, what are you thinking? North Carolina or something. Probably. No, it's California, oh, okay. you moron. Oh, California Redwoods. Lucky I clicked the right one. <laughs> okay, great. How's about this? Yes. What is the name of the world the Wookiees call home? Well, I don't, it's Kashyyyk. Yeah, Kashyyyk, or is it Bespin, or is it Yavin, or is it Geonosis? It's Kashyyyk. That's right. I'm loving that sticky, icky Kashyyyk. You Are know you? what I mean lately, James? No, I don't. Puffing away on that Kashyyyk? That's illegal. I don't oh, like well, it. Oh, well, all right. I will not be implicated. <laughs> okay. Just putting it in my death sticks, you know what I mean? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Question number five. Name the character who says, power, unlimited power. Is it Darth Vader? Does he say it just like that? <laughs> That's right. Cassian Andor, uh -huh. Count Dooku, or Darth Sidious? God, I wish it would. I wish it were Cassian Andor. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> Oh, that's what we want out of this rebellion. Unlimited power. Agreed. But it's, um, I, I guess it's Darth Sidious. It's Darth Sidious, yeah. baby. Also known as Mr. Palpatine. That's right. Everyone's pal. Jonathan Palpatine. Jonathan Palpatine, that's right. Question number Jonathan six. Jonathan Taylor Palpatine. <laughs> Question number six. Yes. Who shot first in the 1997 oh, special edition of A New Hope? God. Greedo or Han Solo? There's only two. Okay. basically flip a coin. Oh, then it's Greedo. Yeah, right? that's, that's right. Because that's when, that's when Lucas was having his crisis of conscience. Mm. Oh, a hero shouldn't shoot people under a table first. Shouldn't do a cold-blooded murder. Or well, they should. How about this? Which... Character's name is derived in part from George Lucas's son's name. Newt Gunray, Ramus Antilles, Dexter Jetstar, Joff Sea Striker. Okay. I'm pretty confident. He I has don't think it's Dexter Jetstar. No, I'm pretty confident he has a son called Jet. Oh, Jet Lucas. Yeah. That does I'm sound. Pretty sure. Yeah. Jet Lucas is also in Star Wars. He's in oh. Revenge of the Sith. As a Jet? Yeah, no, he's a little kid and he gets mm. shot. Question eight. How does Google characterize the genre of George Lucas's HBO slash ABC show Star Wars Underworld in addition to science fiction? Is it military <laughs> science fiction? Okay. Intergalactic fantasy, planetary romance, okay. space opera. Now, you might not know this, mm. but George Lucas was planning to bring Star Wars to live action television after the prequel series. Okay. He did a bunch of tests and using mm. virtual environments. It turned out to be way too costly, so they binned it, and then Disney revived it when the technology got cheap enough. And by that, I mean they made a big screen where you can be anywhere. Oh. And it was an underworld kind of, uh, like a Sopranos kind of situation. Ooh. So would you say intergalactic fantasy or military science fiction? 
planetary romance, space now, opera. Space opera is like technically what you would call it. Like Star Wars is t- usually like historically called a space opera. Yeah. So, but a spopera. A spopera. So that maybe that's too obvious. I would say maybe that the other the romantic thing you said. Planetary romance. I don't think so because okay. it's underworld. But maybe they're like, boy, I love doing crimes. All right, and I'll do it. Planetary romance. You happy? That's what I wish it was, James. Well, it's not. It was space opera. Oh, That's, the obvious one. I hate that. <laughs> well, we're hating it together. Agreed. Question number nine. Not even a quarter way there. Oh. Which draft of the script of episode four was titled Adventures of Luke Starkiller as taken from the Journey of the Will Saga 1, the Star Wars? That's great. First, second, third, or fourth? I think it's the first. First or second. Yeah, I think... I feel like the first one was probably just called The Star Wars. Yeah, no, you're probably right. Yeah, let's yeah. go with second, yeah. Right. And I, then third and fourth, they would have chipped away at that. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you're right. The first one was just called The Star Wars. Mm. And then he got it all up in his head about it. Didn't he just? Mm. Question number 10. What does ATAT or ATAT stand All-tar for? All-terrain armor transport. All right. <laughs> yep, that's the one. Nice. You got it. I Thank mean, you. the people like to guess. Well, I guessed. <laughs> That was a pure guess. People other than you like No, to I picked four <laughs> words at random, and then it just happened to be correct. How's about this one? Mm-hmm. What's the original name of Return of the Jedi? Rise of the Jedi? No. Trials of the Jedi? No. Revenge of the Jedi? Not going to say. Maybe it's the fourth one. Blue Harvest? It's the third one. For the working title oh. of Star Wars. Actually, no, the original Star Wars working title was Blue Harvest, wasn't it? That's correct. Yeah, it's Revenge of the Jedi. Yeah, You're yeah, right. That's right. I actually put in Blue Harvest. It wasn't even here. But, uh, I know. I just did that joke that we used to do. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I love that you did that. I can't wait for the comments. Question number 12. Before he attempts to navigate the asteroid field in A New Hope, what odds of success does C-3PO give Han Solo? One in 3,720, one in 5,633, one in 22,865, one in one million. I reckon it's the third one. I yeah. reckon it's the one in 3,720. 3, oh, you know what? I, just as a side note, I hate it when people do this stuff in movies. Yeah. When it's like, your chance of success is 52.7%. How do you know? Mm. You don't know. Just say 50-50. Yeah, it's fine. That's true. I reckon about 50-50. I'd be like, whatever, nerd. And then I'd walk <laughs> into a hail of gunfire and I'd die. <laughs> and I'd be proud to do it yeah, as well. But you wouldn't be a nerd, would you? That's right. What was Anakin Skywalker's mother's name? Aelia. No. Shmi. Baru. Anaya. Have I given people enough time to guess? Yes, you have. Have I given everybody, even in the slow lane, everybody's, everybody's yeah. had a go, have they? Yeah. It's Shmi, isn't it? It is Shmi. It's, it's too similar to Sheev. Yeah? Yeah. Mm, that's were they brother and sister? Yes, they were. That's, good. that's why Anakin turned out the way he did. On fire, <laughs> <Yeah>. ultimately. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Who was the original commander of the Death Star? Conan Motti, Count Dooku, Cassio Tag, Wilhuff Tarkin. I think it's Mr. Tarkin. It is. Yeah. Who was the first character you play as in 2017 Star Wars Battlefront 2? Han Solo, Boba Fett, Iden Versio, Darth Maul. Oh. Is there a single player campaign? Oh, there? yeah. Oh. Who, who are they again? Give me the options. Han Solo, Boba Fett, Iden Versio, Darth Maul. Is it the three you've heard of or the other one? No, it's, one? The, it's Iden Versio, <laughs> yeah. I would guess. Is, she, is, that a, is it a lady and she's yep. like the she's in like Scorpion Division or Hellfire yeah, Division something like or something? That. Yeah, 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 right, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah You're yeah. exactly right. What year did the Star Wars holiday special air? 78, 80, 82, 84. I don't know, James. It's 78. Okay, great. Because George Lucas was busy making next Star Wars and nobody looked in on this. Ah, good call. We got a video on it. Mm. Question number 17. A phrase in what language is widely thought to appear on Darth Vader's chest plate? Farsi, Sanskrit, Arabic, Hebrew. Oh. I've never heard of this. Wow. We gotta get we gotta be guessing. Where is it? Somewhere on his somewhere on chest his chest plate, plate. Apparently. Okay. Let's click a random one. Alright, I'm gonna go Sanskrit. Okay. We we're wrong! It was Hebrew! No! Question 18. Jabba the Hutt was later added to the special edition of which Star Wars film? Return, First one. Yeah, Return of the Jedi, A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. You are correct, it is a new hope. Mm. Question number 19. What is the name of the new live action TV show to be released in 2019? Bit dated, isn't it? Mm. Set seven years after the Battle of Endor with the roughly $100 million budget. For the all of them. Ten, yeah. The answer's all of them if it's set seven years after <laughs> the Battle of Endor with a roughly $100 million budget. Mm, that's right. Underworld Clone Wars Resistance Mandalorian. Who knows? We, there's no we way, know. no. We've got to stop here. You're going to love this. Mm? Halfway. Yeah. Wait, not yet. Oh, it's true. Question number 20. <laughs> I'll save my party <laughs> popper until we finish this one. <laughs> While there's been a trend of recent Star Wars films being released in the month of December, in what month 
of different years with the first six films released. This is a question about months, not a question about <laughs> Star Wars. I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's famous. March, May, August, November. It, it, you would, oh, it's May. Yeah, it's May, exactly. Like May the 4th. May the 4th okay. be Star Wars. May the 4th be Halfway. Star Wars. Halfway. <laughs> 21. How old is Padme Amidala when she's elected Queen of Naboo? Too young, no relevant experience. 10, 14, 16, 18. I don't know. She's 14. Okay, great. Make her older and it gets even weirder with that relationship. Yeah. You know? What is the name of the only rebel pilot to survive all three films in the original trilogy? Is it Porkins? Biggs Darklighter, Jack Porkins, Wedge Antilles, Garvin Dreis. Okay, so Porkins definitely dies in the first one. He goes, one. ah, I'm Porkins. I'm dead. I'm also yeah. in Batman 89. I'm Porkins in hell, he says. <laughs> Did he? I'm Porkins my way to hell, he says. Whoa, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, uh, I think it's Biggs. No, it's Wedge Antilles. Oh, yeah, okay, right. Biggs dies. Remember oh. Luke's like, you're my friend, and Biggs is like, I can't wait to hear more about us. Question 23. Where was Luke Skywalker originally headed to? The to shops. Some, yeah, he was, to pick up power converters in A New Hope. Was he going to the Toshi Station? Yes. The Moss Eisley Spaceport? No. Panther Canyon? No. The Lars Homestead? Maybe. Yeah. Maybe, maybe he's having a big day. Maybe he was doing a big round trip. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. You're correct. Toshi Station? Maybe he'd stop off at a Mr. Whippy van and get an ice cream on the way home. I don't feel like they'd have Mr. Whippy vans in, on Tatooine. You get a fistful of sand thrown in your face. <laughs> Great. By I love a Tuscan that. Raider. Okay. Could it be salted caramel? No. <laughs> a handful of sand? <laughs> Dry hot sand. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> 24. What species is Yoda? He's a Yoda. Chagrain, Utapaun, Yakora. Mm. Unknown. I think it'd be that last one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Apparently they're never going to reveal it, but I, I bet they eventually do. When the well runs dry. They'll just say it? They're just desperate for another dollar. Now there'll be like, there'll be a, a button will appear on Disney Plus and then if enough people click it, it'll cost you a dollar. <laughs> if a hundred million dollars worth of people click it, it'll just be like... Gr the green greenos or whatever, <laughs> yeah, greenos, and everyone would be like, "Huh, great, this is really good." <laughs> what special concession did George Lucas make to Samuel L. Jackson when he joined the Star Wars prequels? I know the answer to this one: choosing his name, choosing his catchphrase, choosing his lightsaber, choosing who kills him. Oh, it's the third one. That's right, purple lightsaber. Well, everybody chooses their lightsaber, but he was unique and he got to choose the color. Mm. Oh, you get to choose like the handle. Yeah. Now, do you get to design your own, or they just present? No, you they like give you like. Eight. Okay. And unless it's a legacy lightsaber, in which case you just eventually have to use that one. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Who said, someday I will be the most powerful Jedi ever? <laughs> Ray, Obi-Wan, Luke Skywalker, Anakin Skywalker. Sounds like something that, that Mary Sue Ray would say. That's true. But it's not, it's Anakin. Oh, That's right. Yeah, mm. In how many, you love these ones. In how many no, language, languages is C-3PO fluent? About three million, over six million, over nine million, about a billion. I don't think it's a billion. I think it's six million. He says, I'm fluent in over six billion forms of communication. That, that sounds like it flows correctly. Well, you're wrong. Three million? No, I was right. You're wrong. Oh. I knew. Okay. It was six. Oh, six yeah. You didn't give me a chance to say whether I thought it would be right. Do you think it's right? No. <laughs> I think it's less. <laughs> Question 28. What was the original name of Ray's character in the script of The Force Awakens? Hera, Jaina, Kira Mara. Ooh. Now I know this because I made a video on George Lucas's original ideas. Oh well, Mara. I don't think it's Mara because that's Mara J. Yeah. She's a Legends character. True. Uh or the it, other three? It's Kira, Jane, or Hera. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's Kira. Okay. Even though Kira was the name of that character in that solo movie. Yeah. Who cares? I don't care. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I was right. Nice. Do you care though? Yeah. Deeply. Okay. okay now good. that I think about it. Yeah. How about this? Who is the only non-Jedi Sith character to use a lightsaber in the original trilogy? Leia Organa, Han Solo, C-3PO, Lando Calrissian. Ah, uh, it's Han Solo because he cuts open the bloody the bloody space camel. That's the right. Space snow camel. He didn't have to. Yeah, but he did. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> you're not even dead yet. <laughs> Oh, we're flying through this. We're already at question 30. Oh. What does the tie in TIE Fighter stand for? Thrust inverter ex extrusion. No. Tension ignition emulation. No. Uh, tandem in gate electrodes. No. Twin ion engines. That one. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. 31. And it's because they're shaped like a little tie. It's true. Like a little bow tie. That's not in your quiz, is it? No. Who cut off half of Anakin Skywalker's arm with a lightsaber? Well, it depends, really. But yeah, it depends what time, doesn't uh, it? Darth Vader, Count Dooku, Darth Sidious, Chancellor Palpatine. I'm going to say Count Dooku. Yeah, but also Obi-Wan did it. Yeah. And so did Luke. It was mechanical. Yeah, but half, like, like, Dooku really got him up the arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? Is it always the same arm? What do you mean? Like, is it always his left arm or always his right arm? No, he, lo he, he lost one to Dooku and one to Obi-Wan. Huh. Yeah, here we go. Who was Jango Fett? 
The only unaltered Republic clone. No. The Death Star architect. No. The genetic template of the clone army. Maybe. The Mandalorian prime minister. No. No, it's the maybe one. That's right. <laughs> Do you love minor Star Wars characters? Yes. There we go. Who was Darth Vader addressing when he said, I find your lack of faith disturbing? I find it like disturbing. Yeah, bro. Bro. Hushing my buzz. Uh, he said it too. One of the one of them guys on the Death Star. Okay, was it Will Huff Tarkin? No. Was it Cassio Tag? Maybe. Was it Darth Sidious? No. Was it Conan Motti? Might have been Conan Motti. I think it's Conan Motti. I don't know. But it's the, one of the two that... Yeah, it's one of those two guys. All right. Yes. Nice, we got it. We yeah. Get it? Yeah, nice. Also, let me just say, there's not enough guys in the Star Wars universe anymore who are just straight to Darth Vader's face, be like, you're a fucking idiot. Right? Like, in that mm. movie, people are like, who is this? Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. is he? Sit down. Why are yeah, you standing? Yeah. What is mm. this guy? And yet, if they if they met the Emperor, they'd be like, oh, sorry, sir. Oh, yeah. Mr. Emperor, sir. But, like, shouldn't the Emperor just send, like, an email around that's like, be nice to my guy? Because, <laughs> like, he's my main guy. Yeah. Like, well, he's kind of secret, sort of. I'm just saying logistically to be less trouble. Yeah, okay, sure, you yeah. You know? Yeah. You'd be like, maybe don't question the guy. First of all, he's doing exactly what I want, and he'll kill you. <laughs> Which may not be the same thing. <laughs> What year was the first Star Wars Battlefront game released? Oh, it's a date question. 2009, 2012, What is this, the EA quiz? 2017. Well, that and, like, there are two series of Battlefront games. Oh. There's one from the mid-2000s and then they rebooted it. But it wow. would be 2015, I would say. That sounds like you, you've got all the answers. I do, don't I? Mm -hmm. Let me check. It was 2015. I'm right and I'll never die. Uh, this one is question 35. Oh, we're nearly there. Three more till you check out. Mm-hmm. What is the Carillion Trade Spine? A hyperspace lane? Jabba's fleet of merchant ships? A market on Alderaan? Ooh. An illicit drug ring on Naboo? This sounds like expanded universe stuff. Mm -hmm. Some absolute legends nonsense. <laughs> Even if we get it wrong, doesn't matter. I don't care. It's not relevant anymore, nor was it ever it relevant. It could be in the Solo movie. Whatever. <laughs> I reckon it's a hyperspace line. I love that. Yeah, but I don't know. Is that how hyperspace works in the Star Wars universe? I have no idea. Right. Well, I mean, we'll learn it. We'll how many be... parsecs are, are there in a hyperspace line? 62. But what, what's that in credits? Hundreds, Republic credits. 162. That's why it's so confusing. <laughs> it's like converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. Sometimes it matches up and sometimes it doesn't. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> it was a hyperspace line. That's great. Question, I'm loving that. Question 36. What real life location was used as the snowy planet of Hoth? Antarctica, Greenland, Norway, Switzerland. I want to say Greenland, but it okay. might be Norway. Uh -huh. I think you'll find Greenland would be green. Mason, haven't you seen Mighty Ducks 2? Where it's very clearly explained to Emilio Estevez that Greenland is icy and Iceland is green. And I don't know whether that's true, but that's just something I remembered from that movie. Want they bloody swap? It wasn't Greenland, it was Norway! Damn. God damn it! Here's one for you. <laughs> Question 37. So okay. it's nearly your last one. Yeah, yeah, nice. Who is Corsella? Assistant to Leia Organa, assistant to Chancellor Palpatine. <laughs> this is really an assistant question, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Assistant to Kylo Ren, assistant to Maz Kanata. What's her name again? Corsella. Yeah, I'll give Corsella. you a picture. I don't know, look pretty high res. <laughs> I don't know, but she's got a brown uniform on, which yeah. doesn't suggest... It does suggest the Emperor. Depends on what planet, though. Sure. Depends whether they're stuck in the 70s Emperor yeah, Empire. Yeah, okay. Or the, like a fresh one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was Kylo Ren? Who was the last one? I can just tell you I know. Is it Kylo Ren? No, it's Leia. Oh. She's in The Force Awakens. She's oh. supposed to be in it more, but then you see her briefly before her planet has exploded. Oh, well. Question 38. Who said, the Force is strong with this one oh. in A New Hope? Was oh, it Yoda? Yeah. Chancellor Palpatine? Yoda's not even in The uh, New Hope. Obi-Wan or Darth Vader? Well, he said it with a cadence of Darth Vader. So I didn't know. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah, let's click on that one. And I was right. Sure. I'm doing question 39, but you're not involved Good luck. in it. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Maybe I'll indicate with a like a like a like a little smirk. I've been I... doing all the heavy lifting. Mm. I don't think I know this. What, provi <laughs> what provides TIE fighters with their large scales of propulsive energy? Hydrogen, solar power, nuclear power, fossil fuels. Look, I don't think it's fossil fuels. I don't think they're popping down to the local Shell service station <laughs> no? to fill up. So there's three left. We can do this, James. It wouldn't be nuclear, would it? They don't do nuclear. I don't think they do nuclear. And so. I've never, I know there is solar, I'm pretty sure. But hydrogen? No, because they've got those things on the side, right? Yeah. So they're kind of solar, right? Maybe they're scoops. They're hydrogen scoops. They're scooping them out. Yeah. You think these are hydrogen they scoops? Scoop, that's a thing in, in space travel. All right. Hydro, uh, hydrogen atoms come Let's through. Let's go, hydrogen. They do a big scoop. You're wrong. It was solar. Oh, interesting. You said, Mr. I'm not even going to do this question. I'm not doing this question. You should have ignored my input. <laughs> Last but you've learned a thing about hydrogen scoops, haven't you? Yeah, I guess I have. Question 40. Question 40. Good luck with it. Thanks. Name the character who famously delivered 
the one word line hope. Ray, Padme, Leia, Jin Urso. Well, I know the answer. So do I. Mm-hmm. If you've seen the movie. Let's leave it up to the listener and viewer. Okay. Well, I have to click on it to get our results. If I don't tell them, it was Leia. But it was the weird CGI Rogue One Leia, <laughs> not the real one. Now. It says, we got 36 out of 40, and it says, congratulations, Padawan. The results... Maybe more than a Padawan with I agree. 36 out of 40. Qui-Gon wouldn't have got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he'd be stabbed. Yeah. The results of our exam indicate you are highly Force-sensitive. Now that they've been aware of your presence, you can expect to be contacted by the Sith. And they're going to kill what? you. What? Yeah, this is set during Order 66. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. We should have been running. <laughs> yep. We've been on this booth. <laughs> cool. Well, what did everybody else get? Please leave your score below if you are interested, along with that like that you said you'd leave. Do you get better than us? We don't believe you. Yeah, we don't. Mm-hmm. Also, we have a service called Big Sandwich, where if you head over to bigsandwich.co, there's early videos, including Caravan of Garbage. There's bonus podcasts. There's movie commentaries. There's video game Let's Plays. Check it out if you are interested. We also have a podcast called The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows every Monday. And guess what? All that stuff, it's all Star Wars based. No. So if you were here because you love Star Wars, it's all Star Wars. Oh, then it is, yeah. But if you hate Star Wars, there's Mm. no Star Wars. The planet we're referring to in The Weekly Planet, Mm -hmm. that's... um, It's a good one. What's a good one? What's a good one? Hosni and Prime. Is that a Star Wars one? The the suckers would be... Yeah, suckers love that. Suckers would love that one. Especially people love the Disney sequels. That's what we're talking about, Hosni and Prime. That's right. Yeah, that's right. We actually have done movie commentaries on every single Star Wars movie. That's right. right. So that's over there if you want to check it out. Obviously, because that's how we have all all this knowledge. Obviously. Mm. All right, thank you, Matt, for the edit. Thank you, Matt. And we'll see you on the next one. Wrapped at Jam, you guys. We'll see you real soon. (laughs) 